Hi, this is Anita from the Global Trade Gal. Today I want to talk about something a little different than just global trade. I want to talk about some trends. And this month we're going to talk a little bit about some of the different trends and things. And one of them I'm going to talk about is Pantone's Color of the Year. You know, every year Pantone, and those of you who maybe don't know Pantone, but for most people who are in and any type of industry that's dealing with design or, or, or export usually works with Pantone colors. Pantone are basically the color experts of the world. And a lot of times a designer will give you a Pantone color and they'll say, here's the color that I want, match this color. And you know, a good factory or someone else will have a Pantone book at their facility. They can um, look the color up, they'll pull out the color chip, and they'll have that little color chip to try to match it. We do this a lot in our own industry. We use Pantone colors, or we look at Pantone colors. And because, of course, we're in home decor, we also sometimes look at what the paint colors are for the year and the trends for the paint colors. I want to, in general, talk about you know colors of the year and do they really matter. And in particular, I'm going to talk a lot about Pantone's color of the year. And one of the reasons I'm talking about Pantone's color of the year is because of the, the fact that it is probably the most popular or important color of the year. You know, every major magazine or news organization will usually cover, here's what Pantone has picked for the color of the year, and they will, you know, cover a little segment on it, and they will tell why Pantone picked this color. So, you know, does this color really matter? Like, does it really make any difference at all? that Pantone has picked the color of the year. Well, the first thing you need to do is understand about Pantone's color of the year. Pantone's color of the year is not just this random pick of the color wheel. They're not just sort of picking this color out of the air. It's very carefully forecasted trend that they spend a lot of time, in fact, they probably spend the whole year looking for what the color will be for, you know, the coming year. So, you know, the decision isn't made lightly. It's, you know, countless hours of research, color trend experts, but they'll really look at everything. They'll look at global, cultural, social, and economic trends. Determine, you know, which color will resonate with uh, the majority of consumers and why it will resonate with them. They will try to anticipate what's the mood, what's the attitude, or what will be the reflection of society as a whole. And they don't just look at it for like the United States, but they'll look at it for the world as a whole. So anyone who's in product or product design or buying and selling products, you know, whether it's, it's from a water bottle to clothing to home decor like we are to toys or whatever it is, you know, understanding a bit of the color of the year is important for you to understand and how it could impact your own industry. So the color of the year, you know, that that's why the color of the year is important because it's important for you to understand because you don't want to be left behind in the trends. And at the same time, you need to understand your own industry and what people will want or people will, will be looking for, for colors. And, you know, color is and the whole color psychology is important, especially if something's on, you know, that shelf of the store. You know, if somebody sees a color that appeals to them, they may pick that color and not pick the other color. Or they may pick someone else's product because that person's product has a color or design or fashion or something that they like that appeals to them and just speaks to them. I know I do this all the time when I'm in the store and I'm looking around. And for example, you know, recently when I was back in the United States and I'm shopping for like water bottles, I'm looking, thinking like, oh, which one do I want? And I sort of pick the one that appeals to me for the color, the look, the price. It, you know, becomes a, um, a whole bunch of different things. But a lot of times, you know, color does play a role. What, you know, what color resonates with me? What color water bottle do I want to have that I'm going to walk around with and how am I going to use it? So I think, you know, this color and color psychology is something which is actually important. You know, a Pantone does a lot of color trend forecasting. So they will, you know, basically they will look and say, you know, here's what's going to happen from all industries, you know, not just home decor, my industry, fashion, beauty, everything. What are colors that's going to, a color that's going to resonate with a lot of people. They look at how it's going to, you know, be for marketing and, and branding and how this is going to be able to, you know, it's going to communicate more effectively and emotionally with an audience, you know, because color can be a very emotional thing. They're going to look at the culture. How is this going to reflect upon the majority of culture, you know, to mirror global, you know, cu cultural trends and social shifts? How is this going to affect this? So, you know, that's why, you know, Pantone, 
uh, looks at this. They will look at innovation and inspiration. How will Color of the Year captivate creativity, innovation, you know, with the global design community? You know, how will the global design community and the consumer and others view this color? So, you know, how is it going to be able to inspire designers um, with different types of looks? So, you know, Pantone has what's called known as a Color Institute. And for years now, the Pantone's Color Institute has been doing all of this research. They have the color experts in, and it's the Color Institute which will say, here is why we have this color of the year, and this is why we've chosen this color of the year. You know, scout the globe for color influences, and they'll come down to the very nuances of the color. You know, and, you know, these people who are working in this color institute are people who understand color. They can tell the difference between color. They know how to mix color. They, they you know, would understand the difference between too much gray in a color versus too much green. And all these different nuances that maybe, you know, not everyone sees in color, but these people would be able to see this and be able to understand this with the color. They, you know, they would spend hours and hours on this and, and, you know, looking at different colors and, and, you know, and then until they finally decide what the color of the year will be. It's interesting that in 2024, the color of the year for Pantone is um, Pantone number 13-1023, which is called Peach Fuzz. And they said that, you know, the Pantone, the uh, Pantone said that the Peach Fuzz embodies our yearning for care for ourselves and those around us. And in fact, there's a quote by the, the executive director of the Pantone Color Institute that said why they picked Peach Fuzz for 2024. They said, in seeking a hue that echoes our innate yearning for closeness and connection, we choose a color radiant with warmth and modern elegance, a shade that resonates with compassion, offers a tactical embrace and effortless bridge, the youthful with the timeless. So, you know, they're basically saying that this, you know, this color can be with useful and with timeless. It was quite interesting. The other day I was, you know, at church here in Hanoi and I looked around and I had on this peach shirt, which I've always kind of liked the peach shirt. It's sort of spring and it was making me feel sort of a bit springy. And I looked around and there were three or four other women that had on peach dresses or had on something that was peach. And I thought, oh my goodness, you know, peach is now really popular. A lot of people are wearing peach. And I bet if you go into a lot of stores, you'll see some peach and other peachy type of colors. And you will see the importance of this color of the trend, you know, and how you'll even see probably water bottles showing up with peach colors. You'll see, you know, you'll, you'll see children's clothes, you'll see socks, you'll see shoes, you'll see uh, whole packaging and other things that suddenly are going to be showing more of this color. And that's kind of why the color of the year is important, that each year when Pantone announces it, which is usually in December of each year, that it's good for you to be able to pay attention to it, especially if you're in the global uh, supply chain. No matter which part of the global supply chain you in, are in, it's interesting me to understand it. If you're just someone who is um, working with shipping, um, sending products back and forth, but it's important for you to understand too, if you're part of a team that, you know, that basically decides on which products are going to be brought in and which products are not going to be brought in. So it's important for you to understand why, you know, this is why, in my opinion, Pantone's color of the year and the color of the years that these companies do is important for you to look at and to understand and see how it fits into your own trends, your own products and your own things that you are doing. I've written a blog on this called Pantone's Color of the Year, Importance and Why It Matters. And we'll, of course, put a link in the description for you um, to be able to see the blog. If you have any questions or any comments, we'd love to hear from you. And we'd like to thank you so much for listening and being part of our community. We hope you'll give us a thumbs up and that you will subscribe to us because we'd love to have you join with us. We'd like to thank our technical team who else put this together. And especially thank you for you our listeners. We know without you, this would not be possible. Thank you.